Hi, I'm Bill Solik. I'm going to walk you through uploading files from your computer up to Google Drive. So I'm in Google Drive, drive.google.com. I'm going to click this up arrow right next to create because I already have it. So I'm going to upload a file. If you're using Chrome, which I highly recommend, if you're in Google Drive, you, Chrome also gives you the option to upload an entire folder which is super cool. So if you have a folder full of like Excel spreadsheets, it'll upload all of that stuff. So if you already have stuff kind of organized, folder is a really cool way to go. I'm gonna do just a couple files. I'll do this twice for you. They're in my downloads. So this one is a PowerPoint file. I'm gonna open it and you can see that it is going to upload. It's gonna do its thing. It'll take a while. The other way you can do it, let's do a, just a regular document. It's going to do that. And you have a few different options when you upload. Now, first of all, you can upload any file that's on your computer. Google Drive can convert some of them into Google Documents. So it'll convert Word, Excel, PowerPoint into Google Docs, Google Spreadsheets, Google Presentations. You don't have to do that, but you can, and I think it's fantastic. So I'm gonna come up to this gear, and I go to Upload Settings. This is where you can change that to convert files into Google Docs, but it's only gonna work for um, things that would convert into Google Document, Google Presentation, or Google Spreadsheet. You can also, if you're not sure yet, you might wanna just have stuff as like a Word file. You can confirm the settings. So you can see before that it's uploaded, it gives me a P for PowerPoint and a W for Word. Those are not Google Docs yet. But if you look over here, that is not a W, obviously. It's actually a Google document. And if you forget what it is, you mouse over the icon, hey, that's a document. This presentation is going to convert, and actually I have it right here. If I mouse over, it tells me it's a presentation. So I'm gonna just cancel this, it's taking a really long time. But it would look like this, and if I click on this to open it, because I went to my upload settings and have it convert, I'll do a little cooking show trick, it automatically converts it into a presentation. So if you use a super fancy font, it might not keep the font. I'm just gonna keep the same basic layout of your slides. My slides are on the left, preview on the right, and in the previous tutorial I walked you through, you can share it, you can leave comments on slides, and you get the same basic functionality that you get inside of PowerPoint or inside of Keynote if you're an Apple person. So you can see this one converted, it's called Bill Selleck, that's a really bad name for it. So if I check on this, I can click on more, and I get all this stuff. So I'm gonna just rename it and call it, it's actually someone's writing an article about me, which is kind of fancy. They sent it to me as a Word document. I don't even have Word on this computer, so that's why I actually wanted to upload it. So if I clicked on it, it's not W for Word. You see, it started as a Word document, but now it's a Google document or a Google Doc. It shows up here. I even get a nice preview inside of Chrome there and there, letting me know it's a document. And here is the article. So then I can make comments on it. I can edit it if I want. And when I'm done with it, from either the document, or actually it doesn't look like I can download from there. I need to open it to download it. Let me go back to my drive. Let's go to recent since it's having problems loading. I'll come up over here. And once I have it, if I want to download it and email it back, I can. I can also just click share. Anyone with a link can view and share that link. But if I do want to download it, I can come over here and go to file download as. And I can download it back as a Microsoft Word document. Or it's really cool, I can actually download it as a PDF. So if I want to attach it and give it to someone, but they don't edit it, PDF. So that's how you get stuff up into Drive and how you do stuff with it once it is in Drive.